I have written this blog a couple of months ago to describe that how can you deploy your Nux.js universal application on any cPanel powered server. Because cPanel is using Apache server instead of nginx, we will utilize .htaccess file to configure all the requests to resolve a particular port. Uh, this process is imperative when you have finished developing your Nux.js application locally and you are willing to go live and tie a dom domain name or top level domain name to it. For this uh, tutorial, I have installed Nux.js in my local machine and using Beautify Starter template. So let me quickly show you my uh, local application which is running in Microsoft Visual Studio Code. Uh, as you can see on the left side that uh, there are all the files and folders are listed of uh, this Nux.js application and it is running locally in the development mode. So I will quickly go to the browser and will hit localhost 3000 to show you that how this application is looking like. So this is uh, the application working perfectly in my local machine. So next I will move all the files and folder of this uh, particular application on a server and will tie a domain name uh, nuxjs.projects.itinvator.in to it. For this uh, transfer process I will use Atom Editor. Let me show you Atom Editor. Uh, and along with Atom Editor, I am also using Remote FTP Extension. However, you can use FileZilla or any other uh, FTP Extension which is your favorite. So, I will choose all the files and folder of this application except non-modules folder because which is uh, having all the dependencies of this project which we will have to reinstall it once we upload it on the live server. So. We should not upload not modules folder on a live server. So I have started this uploadation process and uh, uh, next step is that we will have to go to putty. We will have to connect to the server via SSH since we will have to install its dependencies. So let me quickly show you putty which is already connected and uh, you can see that uh, currently I am in public underscore html folder which is uh, the root folder of your cPanel account. Uh, in my case, I'm going to uh, utilize Nuxt.js folder. But if you are using top level domain, means your root folder or there are high chances that your root domain uh, or root directory will be public underscore HTML. But if you are using subdomain, so use the directory respectively. So I will go to this directory. So I'm already in it. Um, but I will still have to see whether the uploadation process is finished or not. So the process is still going on but looks like now it is finished. So let's go back to putty and install all the dependency. For that we will hit npm install. This command will install all the dependencies of this project. So it has started the process, it will take a minute. Uh, the next process after this is that we are going to configure package.json file. In package.json under um, scripts command we will modify the code a bit. So you can see that uh, this process has finished. So let's go to atom editor again since we will have to modify package.json file. So let me download and you see this development a command under, under scripts so in that I will append some more words that is host name that's the domain name of your application and port that is 49,000 you can use any port not necessary that you will you need to use 49,000 you can use 50,000 51,000 51,115 or anything that you like so once you have finished uploading this uh, modified package.json file what we will do is we will go back to putty and we will run npm run dev why we will run npm run dev is because we will check that this particular application is working fine in the development mode if it is working fine and everything is excellent then we are ready to go further and uh, uh, do some modifi further modification in package.json file and we, then we will uh, build this uh, application for production purpose. So let's do npm run dev. As you can see that it will listen 
projects dot it noted dot in forty nine thousand. So once this process is finished, we are going to hit this URL, and if uh, the page will be loaded, means that this application is working correctly. So the next step will be, as I mentioned before, to modify or to append some more codes in package.json file. Usually I have observed that when this application in the development, the page size will be much bigger because uh, the JS and CSS codes uh, or files won't be compressed and uh, they are of quite big big sizes so the overall page size will be much higher so it's not recommendable to um, do all your development processes you know, over the live server but uh, it's more convenient to do it on in a local machine so as you can see that this process is already finished now so we can move further and we will have to check that uh, if we hit nuxjs.projects.itinnovator.in then it should open this application perfectly means uh, 49,000 sorry currently it will open in the port but later we will remove this port so seems like application has started loading the page and yes the page has loaded perfectly so excellent work so far as we can now go and configure package.json file for that I will open my um, atom editor and append some more code at the end of the file in that I'll add config for next and I will have to use two parameters one is host which is 0 .0 0.0.0.0 and port which is 49,000 so this configuration will be used by PM2 uh, along with Nuxt.js to keep 49,000 port live. So let me go back to Putty again. Um, let me go back to Putty. Yes, here I will have to write npm run build or yes npm run build this will compile all the codes and all the css and js files and will reduce its sizes and will also optimize it and will make it ready for the production purpose so the next step will be we will use pm2 server to have 49000 port alive forever so it is really needed that pm2 server is already installed in your machine on your server of course so if it is not installed then I will put another video probably to describe that how can you configure your PM2 server on cPanel since it is not officially supported so far by cPanel itself uh, but so far for many of my application and my clients application uh, PM2 is working very stably and causing no error so far and there is no security bugs that I have observed so far So let's wait for this build to be finished. Okay, meanwhile, let me go. Let me take you to the package.json file where we will have to uh, deploy one more uh, command under the scripts. So here, go and add new code deploy. This is actually I'm doing because whenever we uh, in future we are going to uh, make some small amendment in the application and we will have to rebuild the wall package and we will have to deploy it again. So this code will helpful when we will you will have to do this kind of work. PM2 uh, start and PM um, it start or yes npm and then i think it will it should have name name of the application that's nuxt.js in my case um, nuxt.js um, i think it's nuxt yeah it's it's of course nuxt.js yes as you can see the package name nuxt.js and then you will have to write start but you need to have space after this 
dash is over here otherwise it will cause an error so once you have finished doing this save the file and let's go to the putty to see its status whether it has uh, compiled I see that uh, there is a small error but I, I don't think so it's gonna cause any kind of problems for us so we are almost ready to go for that now we will hit pm to list to see any application is running well not at all not not any application is running so now we will run npm run deploy remember this deploy command we have added in the scripts so that we can utilize it uh, let's do that so the now um, next is application is running uh, properly in pm2 so the next step is that we'll have to configure i think that's the last modification we will have to make to uh, remove the 49000 port from the url for that we will create .htaccess file in the root of the application so let me take you to the atom editor and add file .htaccess to this file will be configured to re resolve all the request to go to a particular port i will copy and paste this code over here to explain this particular code you see that this is 80 server port 80 means that if any request come from http it should be uh, if it is in uh, searching for index.php file which is the default file for server on the cpml then it will go to this particular route and otherwise any other request will go to this particular the route is same for in both the case here you will just have to replace your domain name if you are looking to do that in my case i'm using http just because i'm not sure that my domain nux.js is uh, having ssl installed so if you are using secure server layer or ssl then you can use 443 uh, instead of 80 but right now i'm just keeping it 80. now the hack is that if i'll go to the browser and remove the 49000 then it should work as you see it's completely working and it's it's not uh, the development mode it's the live mode now what we can do is we can we can go to putty and remove close the putty so that even if putty is closed and we don't have any de development mode working still nuxjs application is working in our top level domain that is nuxjs.projects.itinnovator.in you can see that it is even showing the server side rendering so everything is working almost good you can see the codes are there and hopefully this tutorial will help you to understand that how can you deploy your nuxjs universal application any queries any questions just put it into the comments sex comment section and thank you very much